What's good YouTube? This is Sean Shoy back at it again with another NBA 2K22 video and today guys I want to show you what player you need to make when you get the rebirth. Now as you can see, hold up, as you see from my player card it says two way three point playmaker. Now the last video I made on making a point guard build was a play making shot creator and now the only reason why I'm using this player is it's basically the same type of player, but you're able to dunk and you're kind of a little bit taller. But if you guys don't know what I'm talking about with the revert build, all you have to do is talk to ATM. Well, I already finished uh, the quest, but basically you talk to ATM, you get the rebirth quest. And then I'm going to show a screenshot on the screen right now. And all you have to do is win two v you have to win 10 games of 2v2 or 3v3 in the park. Now, I don't know if they're both combined. That's the only part I'm not sure, but you have to just win 10 games. It's either play 10 games or win 10 games. And then once you get, once you finish that, you'll get the rebirth option. And now, before we continue on with the video, guys, and what the player you need to make, can you subscribe to the channel if you're new? Like the video up, please, and Turn on post notifications so you can uh, stay tuned in for the next video that I make. But with that out of the way, man, let's get right into the My Player Builder. Alright guys, so once you unlock the Rebirth option, which what's going to happen is that once you create a new build, this message will pop up basically saying, do you want to start with the Rebirth character? And yes. Basically, Rebirth gives you a head start on what you need to do are basically just gives you like the badges you earn from college and stuff so point guard position obviously hand doesn't matter jersey doesn't matter and let's continue on now the height you want to be 5'9 158 pounds hold up yeah 158 pounds with a 6'3 wingspan now the body type it doesn't matter but i like to go define it's up to you for that and now for the three pointer you want to go all the way to a 94 ball handle. You want to go all the way to a 95 speed of ball. You want to max that out. And then for the pass accuracy, you want to make that an 85. Now, the reason why you don't want to max out pass accuracy is because this will go towards the other stuff that for the other attributes you're going to be putting. And now you're probably concerned about not getting Hall of Fame bullet pass here. Honestly guys, gold and Hall of Fame, there is really no big difference between those two. I'm gonna be honest. And then ball handle, the reason that's not maxed out is cause you just don't need to trust me on that. And then speed of the ball, obviously this is the only stat that affects your player when you have the ball in your hand. So obviously you wanna max that out. Speed, that doesn't even count towards anything, towards the speed of ball. It's just when you don't have the ball. But continuing on, prayer defense is going to be a 94. So you get that Hall of Fame clamps. And then the steal is going to be a... Hold up. I might be wrong on this, but that's also a 99 steal. Now for the speed, you, you have... Honestly, you probably... For the speed and acceleration, you don't want to max that out. Because honestly, they're just... They're kind of overrated. You're the point guard, so like obviously you're gonna have the ball in your hands most of the time. So it doesn't make sense to make to have a high like a max out speed. And then for the stamina, you want to put that in 95. And then driving dunk, 80. Wait, 81. Wait, right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so I was right. So you don't want to max out your steal. You want to make your driving dunk to an 83. And the reason why you want to make that to a 3 is because you'll get limitless takeoff. Probably the best finishing, driving, or slashing badge in the game. And along with the gold limitless takeoff, you're going to be able to get silver post rider. That is crazy, guys. On a 5-9 point guard build, midget build, basically. It is so crazy. But then, looking at everything that we got, that's all you need. If you're wondering about the driving layup, Trust me, if you your player will most likely go for a driving dunk. Now I'm not saying you should uh, drive in the paint with this player a lot. If you guys know how to three hunt in this game, basically just take three pointers most of the time. The only time you want to take an inside shot or drive into the paint is when 
the other team is playing good defense on the three-point line so by having a dunk you won't get bailed out by having someone that chases you down and knows how to block so that is the only reason why this build is better and for the three-pointer obviously a 94 will give you the mismatch expert and then the 79 mid-range i'm telling you guys 70 and below for the mid-range is all you need mid-range is overrated you don't need it to be any higher now honestly guys this is all depending on what you guys want to do but if you guys play the rec or the program that i suggest lowering down your stamina and then putting on some free throw to at least 65 and if you want to go higher then just keep lowering your stamina to like 70s which is like the sweet spot but in my opinion if you guys are here just for playing park you want to know what the best park build is that just max out the stamina and then just touch on free throw because you can't really do anything else with the other attributes and now let's continue on primary takeover you're five nine honestly the defensive badges i've i've after all the games i played printer badge drop is probably the best one maybe extreme clamps too but this one right here it has jump shot contest you just know you just need to know how to work with the sticks man if you're good at with the sticks then you definitely know how to play defense but extreme clamps maybe and then premier badge shot i would say this is the best defensive badge but for me personally both limitless range take it's just op guys now let's continue on and then you want to say yes when you complete the build and then it should say you made a two-way three-point playmaker and now now that we got this out of the way let's go test the build well we're not really testing the build guys but i'm gonna show you what badges you should get once you max out this player so gold limitless takeoff um posterizer on silver and now this is on you guys this is all on you what you want to do for me personally i would just choose gold slithery but if you guys are experiencing like some strips every time you drive into the rim then maybe um bronze slithery with silver unstrippable but the only problem with that is that i don't know because really the other badges you you're not really going to use so i would suggest just using slithery all right now that we got the finishing out of the way you guys gotta trust me on this right you guys gotta trust me on this blinders the only reason you should go higher than silver or the only thing you need for blinders is silver if you get if you can get hall of fame get hall of fame but for all your other builds for all other shooting badges you use if you can't get blinders at hall of fame use that silver this is all you need gold circus threes green machine honestly is overrated I've been, I don't know what it is, but when I use Green Machine or don't use Green Machine, there's really no difference. Lucky 7, Bronze, all you need. They're really good boost at Bronze too, which is crazy. Hazel Hunter at Bronze, Mismatch Expert since you are only 5'9. Stop and Pop at Silver. Sniper, I don't know what it is too for me. The difference between hall of fame and gold sniper is not that much of a difference for me and then you guys have a 94 3 so obviously like you shouldn't be missing that much white regardless of having hall of fame or not so that's why i go with gold sniper gold's rhythm shooter gold chef and now maybe you guys this is the part where i actually don't know what you should use for the extra but you can go with either Hall of Fame Circus 3s if you're about that fading life. Or, honestly, there's really no other option, to be honest with you. Or you can go with Gold Circus 3s with Silver Difficult Shot. But in my opinion, you're not really going for 2s, you know. You're 3 hunting. You're going to go with 3s for this build. So it's all on, all on you for that one, honestly. Maybe even a dead eye and then clutch shooter but those last three badges all look to you the ones before that are the main ones you should have all right time for the playmaking this is the best one in my opinion 
So low bullet pass here, obviously. Now there are mixed opinions on hyperdrive, guys. The like the definition increases the speed at which a player can form moving drill moves as they attack down the court. But honestly, the way it feels and how it off how it feels and the way it works in the game from playing, it's basically what you think downhill is. So I don't know, man. What I like to use this at gold. Some people don't even use this, but I recommend this at gold. Quick chain, it's a must. You already know. Quick first step, it's a must. Stop and go is a must. Unpluckable. The high season goal is gold. This is probably like the iffy part of the build, but at gold, you still don't get as stripped as you would think. Gold tight handles. And then hall of... Oh, wait, what the heck? How do we not have enough? Oh, okay, guys. Okay, guys. That's the only reason why we don't have enough. So once you... Uh, I'll show you guys later on with the Reaver build, but basically you can skip college and just apply the badges, the badge points you want towards. So once you, okay, so we don't have enough. So basically we only have four left. So once you apply the points, guys, you want to add um, all your, all your, uh, actually, no, no, no. So that's why, guys, so that's why. So once you apply... Once you go into the micro, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Once you go into the micro, you want to apply two playmaking badge points so you can get handles for your age, hall of fame and bailout. And then two on shooting, which will allow you to get, what's it called? Circus threes and then rhythm shooter on hall of fame. That's why it was weird when I was first doing this, but yeah. I'll show you guys later on in the video once you get into the my career stuff. But as for right now, I'm gonna apply gold hounds for days and then bronze bailout. And then for the defensive, which is so crazy because you're only 5'9, but you get one of the best, you get the best defensive badges as a 5'9 player, which is crazy. Hall of Fame Clance, Hall of Fame Interceptor, Hall of Fame Pick Dodger, Hall of Fame Pickpocket, and I would say Ball Stripper. And then Gold Hustler, one of the most underrated badges in the game. But yeah, guys, now that we got the badge set up, I'm going to skip to the part where you go to the my career and apply your points. All right, guys. So once you go back to the main menu and go back to the my player builder, you want to start your my career. Say yes to this part if you want to make it a rebirth build. And then it's going to give you the, you already know how the, my career starts off you just want to skip the cutscenes. i'll try to fast forward this part but basically you want to skip this skip that all right now this is the only part that's really important so once you go to progression go to badges this is where you're able to apply the extra points so basically when you make a rebirth build you can skip college and now like i said guys what you want to do is plus two to playmaking and then plus two to shooting now the only reason why i get one extra badge point is because in season one if basically last season that just passed if you were level 39 for that season you get an extra badge point towards all your players so yeah if you guys were able to hit level 39 last season in season one then this extra badge point could go anywhere to where you feel like, but I would suggest maybe more shooting. But for the people that didn't hit level 39 in season one, then you just want to have plus two playmaking and plus two shooting. Now, the only problem, guys, is that when you, once you apply these badge points, it says that you must be on an NBA team. So basically, these badge points won't apply till you get drafted to the NBA or you just choose the NBA route but yeah guys that is basically it that is basically how you make the best point guard rebirth build on NBA 2k22 now again if you guys have are not subscribed to the channel yet please do like the video up if you think this was super helpful and lastly turn on post notifications so you can stay tuned in for the next NBA 2k22 video man the next NBA 2K22 video is probably gameplay of this 
two-way three-point playmaker. So if you guys are interested for some gameplay of this build, then like up the video. But yeah, guys, that was it. That was the video. This is Sean Shore, and I'm out. Shoot.